How's it going guys, it's Kyle with the HowToGuy123 here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set a static IP address on Windows 10. Now this tutorial is already going to assume that you are connected to a network and you just want to set a static IP address just so it doesn't change or just so you always know your computer's local IP address. So let's begin by going down here to the start button and then typing CMD. Go ahead and click on command prompt. And once command prompt is open, go ahead and type in the command ipconfig space forward slash all. So this is all of your computer's local network information. And you're going to want to scroll up and find the network adapter you're using to connect to the internet from your PC. For, so for example, I'm using ethernet. So I'm going to want to come up here and look for ethernet adapter. And if you're on Wi-Fi, you're going to want to look for Wi-Fi adapter or wireless LAN adapter. Uh, so up here is my ethernet adapter and this is all of my computer's local network information. And we're just going to want to set the command prompt to the side for now and we're going to use this information to as a, as a reference in just a bit. So now let's come back down here to the start button, click on the settings, now click on network and internet, and then click on change adapter options. So this is going to open control panel and once again you're going to want to select your network adapter. So like I mentioned before I'm using ether ethernet, if you're using Wi-Fi select Wi-Fi. So go ahead and right click on your network adapter and then click on properties. And that's going to open up the ethernet properties and you're going to want to look for internet protocol version 4 TCP slash IPv4. So that's this one here. Uh, go ahead and click on properties and that's going to open up your IPv4 properties and this is where we're going to set our static IP address. So let's go ahead and open command prompt on the side here. And like I mentioned, we're going to use this as reference information. So in your IPv4 properties, go ahead and select use the following IP address. So this is going to set a static IP address. Under IP address, this is actually going to be your static IP. So in command prompt, go ahead and look for your current IPv4 address. And mine here is 192.168.1.119. And this is the IPv4 address that was dynamically set from my router to my PC. So my router set this uh, IPv4 address automatically for my PC. So with this IPv4 address, we're going to want to look at the first three octaves here, or octets. So 192.168.1, and that's going to stay the same in our static IP. So we can go ahead and copy this over here. So 192.168. One. And now with the last digit, this is where we're going to need to make some changes. So we want to make sure that our static IP address is different than any other device on our network. And we also want to make sure that the IP address isn't being reserved from our router. So generally we can use any number between 2 and 255, but like I mentioned, we need to make sure that this isn't being used by any other device on our network. And what I like to do is take the IP address that was dynamically given to our PC and add 20 to it. So here I'm going to take 119, add 20 to it, and that will give me 139. So that's what I'm going to use as the last octet in my static IP address. So 139. So our static IP address in this case is going to be 192.168.1.139. Alright, so now under subnet mask, we're going to just want to click on it and Windows is automatically going to fill that out. And under default gateway, we can just go back into command prompt here and use the exact same default gateway that is listed here. So in my case, 192.168.1.1. Alright, so now Windows is also going to make us manually enter a DNS server. So if you wanted to, you can just use the same DNS server that's listed in command prompt if you haven't given one before. This is probably probably going to be the DNS server that's given to you from your internet service provider. And you can just enter the same ones here, doesn't really matter. But you can also choose to use a third party DNS server. And these are usually a little bit faster, it can kind of speed up your internet. And sometimes they can even be a little bit more secure. So here I'm actually using Google's DNS servers, which are just 8.8.8.8 .8 and 4.4.4.4 as an alternate DNS server. And if you wanted to, feel free to copy that here if you just want to use Google's DNS servers. Anyways, that's pretty much it for setting a static IP address. We can now go ahead and click on OK. 
and we can close out of the Ethernet or Wi-Fi properties. Uh, you might be disconnected from the internet and that's totally fine. Windows is just uh, configuring your new stack IP address. We can close out of control panel. Uh, we can close out of command prompt and we can also close out of our settings here. Now let's just make sure we can actually go on the internet here. So let's just try and go to Google. And there we go, we are on the internet. And if we actually wanted to, we can go back into command prompt, do IP config slash all again. And let's just double check that our stack IP address is set. And there it is, my IPv4 address for my PC has now been set to the stack IP address we just set up. So 192.168.1.139. So that's basically all there is to it, to setting a static IP address on Windows 10. If this video helped, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.